Good morning, boys and girls. Great joy. It's a boy. Abraham and Sarah have a son, and his name is Isaac. It's a boy. Remember we've been talking about Abram and Sarah being promised that their descendants would number the stars, and now they have it. You remember Sarah laughed last week when they said she would have a baby within a year and she was so old? According to some of the scriptures, they were very old. Sarah was 90 and Abraham was 100. That's hardly the age you would think people would expect to be a parent. Maybe a grandparent, but a parent. So Sarah is still in disbelief and she finds the miracle to still be humorous. She's still laughing because she's just like, I cannot believe I had a boy. We all have different responses to the things that God provides for us. And we cannot even expect, God created a life and it may not be the life we imagine. But as we look at ourselves and look at Abram and Sarah, we get great guidance. And one of the things I wanna to talk to you about is this. This sheet I'm sending you, I've already colored mine. And you know I love glitter, so you know I put the stars with glitter. So y'all, if you have glitter at home, you might want to do that too. What does this word say? Let's say it together. Joy. Joy. J-O-Y. Joy. And now I'm going to say something that goes with the letters of joy. J, just as I am. Oh, opening up to the possibilities yet to come. And that's the joy that Abram and Sarah felt when they had their son. Oh, by the way, guess what his name is? His name is Isaac. And do you know what Isaac means? Isaac means laughter. Isn't that a great name? Because they laughed when they found out she was going to have a baby. And she's still laughing because she cannot believe that God gave her such a miracle. Joy, just as I am, opening up to the possibilities yet to come. Abram and Sarah always kept the faith. And then they were able to celebrate with joy the possibilities. And now Isaac is their son. And now their faith has brought them where they are. And now Abram knows that the promise that God has given him, that his descendants would number the stars, is coming to fruition, yet to come. Isn't that great? That is wonderful. What a great story. A couple of things. This is coming to you so you can color. Notice I did it in two shades of blue, just because Isaac's a boy. And then you're going to get this. You're gonna get this sheet, and all it has is a head. You're gonna take Isaac and cut him out. And then I'm sending you another sheet that has a circle on it. You can color, run it off on colored paper, or you can color it. And this is what you're going to do. You're going to stick Isaac's head sort of at the top so you can see the back. And then you're gonna fold it like a blanket. And here is Isaac. And now why do we do this? Well, number one, to celebrate Isaac's birth, but the blanket reminds us of God's comforting arms around us. He surrounds us with his love, with his warmth, and his joy, and his love. And we celebrate that. And that's the craft that you are going to do. Now, before we go, we're going to do two things. We're going to sing, and we're going to do a little pinky poem. But let's sing first. And you all know this. Andrew, I know you're listening, and Andrew, I know you know this song because you always sing this song so loud when we sing it, so I want to hear you, Andrew, singing with us. And Ella Grace and Caroline and Maggie and Charlie and Everett, I want you to sing out, okay? You ready? Wyatt and Bet, you ready? Let's sing. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. And y'all know that. And remember that we're going to, and you sing that song all week. Eliza and Arden, you sing that song because I know grandma, your grandmother has taught you that song. Sing about the joy in our heart that God puts. All right. Now I'm ready for the last thing. This is our closing. Hold up your pinky finger in the air. Look at it. 
And I want you to remember a promise that somebody has made to you. And repeat after me. You ready? The Lord carried out just what he had promised. The Lord carried out just what he had promised. I have faith in God's promises. Whenever you need to remember God is faithful to you and that he will carry out his promises, you look at that little pinky finger and you remember, I have faith in God's promises. God is faithful. I have faith in God's promises. Let's say our prayer. God is faithful. Dear God, thank you. And all of God's people say, Amen.